is the Unify Pro Max 24 PoE switch. And yes, it does have a few party tricks, which are actually kind of useful, we'll get to those. But I am going to upgrade my <coughs> 24 port PoE switch up there with this much beefier 24 port PoE switch. And I'm gonna do that for two reasons and a fun one. Let's call it three. Yeah. First of all, that, this is tricky. <clears throat> That switch, the 24 PoE, has about 90 to 95 watts of power budget for my devices, which is starting to get a little bit short, maybe. Um, this one has 400 watts of power budget. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also, this has eight PoE++ ports which are becoming more and more uh, needed. For example, I recently did a video on the Unify AI Pro camera, which is linked up, up there. <clears throat> and that needs PoE++, as does a bunch of other devices. So it's becoming more and more necessary, and that one just doesn't have them. And this is sort of my main server cabinet on the farm, so it's about time I upgrade it. But of course, there's also the fun reason, which you saw at the start, this has ether lighting. What is that, you might ask? Well, you get special PoE, um, I mean cables, Cat6 patch cables, and light comes out of the ports and go into the cable and it's pretty, I hope. But no, it also is useful and I'll show you the reasons why. But first, I think we need to get this out of the box and actually see what we're dealing with, as well as these patch cables. Right, let's see what's in the box. And first of all, because I know you like this, you weird people. You ready? Uh, yeah, I know it's your favorite. All right, so I'm guessing there's some mounting screws, because there usually is. We'll get to those in just a second. And then there is the actual main attraction, the switch. So, uh, easy to get out. So there it is, this is the Unify Switch Pro Max 24 PoE. And it's called that obviously because it's got 24 ports. We have eight rather, which are PoE Plus, and we have 16, which are PoE Plus Plus, which is amazing. Um, they have like a little LED inside of them, I think, something, there must be something to light it up. Anyway, we have the typical 1.3 inch display, which comes on most new Unify switching devices. Um, and then we have two, SFP um, 10 gigabit ports here, which I'm not using yet. I think in a future video, based on a few comments from all of you lovely people, I may consider upgrading to some sort of more than one gigabit networking. Uh, not sure what yet, but that's the front of it. We have the mounting screws on the side, and then of course on the back, we have the uh, power supply. It's gotta go in there. So this is the new recessed power kind of supply. This is really neat. And then we have on this side, ready for the failover um, power supply solution from Unify, which I'll put on the screen because I can't remember right now what it's called. Um, but that is it. That's what we get out of the box. That's the switch. And then of course we have all of the mounting. So we have these really, I really like these new cables. They're sort of braided um, and it has that recessed power point as well. There, there's the plug. And of course, it's a US cable, but anyway, we'll gloss over that. And then we have the mounting screws, all very neat here. We'll put, use that for the rack. And we have the two brackets that we're gonna put on the side of the switch in order to mount it. And let's just have a look at these ether lighting cables. What does it say on them? It says, ether lighting patch cable 0.15 meters, white 24 pack. So that's what we've got. Let's just open them. Here's another one. Oh, you'll like this one too. Woo! And in here we have a big pack of them. So yes, these are special ether lighting cables that you need to buy with this switch if you want to take advantage fully of the pretty lights in it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, obviously an extra cost, but Let's see if it's worth it. I think it might be. So next, we're gonna put all this together and we're gonna install it in the rack up there. Very good. Right, so it's out of the box. This might be a good time to remember 
If you're not subscribed already, please do so below. It really helps out the channel. Or if there's other ways you can contribute, you can uh, write a comment. And I reply to all comments. There's a super thanks if you want to do that. Or there's even some merch. Check out the merch below. I designed it all myself. With a bit of help from AI. But I did design it. Came up with the ideas. So uh, any way you can support the channel, I would really appreciate it. Now, a bit of a tip when you are swapping a switch. Because I've been in this uh, conundrum before. Take a note of where all the different ports go on the existing switch so that you know where to plug things in. And well, one goes to one. In this case, it's a bit simple, but at least you know what to name them. And that just makes it a lot easier when you have a reference for it. An easy way to do that is just in the Unified Controller, make a screen um, copy, screenshot of where they go to existing. And I've already done that. So all there is to now to do before we get the pretty lights in the ether cables, look at them. They're just sort of transparent things probably light up. Anyway, is to install it. So let's do that. So the new one's quite a bit bigger and it's a lot heavier. So uh, more hardware, obviously. Interesting. Anyway, bye-bye. the patch cables are in it does look a lot neater so the difference with the old one was I had 24 ports on this side here so I needed longer cables to get to this part of the patch panel now I don't so they're all the same length and it's very neat I like it anyway all we have to do now is put power to it and let's see what happens I'm not sure what's gonna happen so you're gonna come along for the journey power it is It's just RGB while it starts up. We get all the colors. Enjoy. <laughs> Alright, so the Pro Max 24 PoE switch has started up. And I've got all these colors here, which some are white and some are sort of a yellowy color. And I'm thinking that this is, the white is gigabit and the yellowish is uh, FE or 100 megabit. Uh, I'm hoping it's not because they're not working. <laughs> anyway, I've got the app open on the Unify Network, uh, Unify Network app. And immediately new device found, Switch Pro Max 24 PoE. So we're just gonna adopt it from there um, and then see what we got. So let's adopt. And it's kind of neat, even though it wasn't adopted into my network, it's still providing Wi-Fi access. So all the, all the things that are plugged in, well, at least the access points are working. So it is switching. It's giving me network connection because this is on the network or on the Wi-Fi. So that's kind of neat. Anyway, more, more adoption. It helps if I press adopt, just saying. All right, we've already got an update. This is any device I've ever put on any network from, well, pretty much anywhere, but Unify as well. There's always an update, which is good. It means that products are live, supported, but we're updating. All right, so the switch has been updated, installed, adopted, all the things. And I was right. These lights here, the white and the amber or yellow, corresponds to gigabits and FE, as it does on the app, as you can see. Um, so that is the normal switching stuff. What else we got? We got some speeds here. Oh, yeah, it's going up and down. That's very good. There's some downloading going on. It's probably a teenager downloading a game or something. I don't know. Then we have an IP address, MAC address, device version, uh, network, temperature. That's handy. Um, I wish I could get that out into like Home Assistant or something. That'd be really handy. Fan level. So there's the change from my previous uh, switch, the 24 PoE. That was fanless which is also why I didn't have many PoE ports. This one is not fanless. So I suspect in summer, or when there's more load on it, it will start getting a little bit loud, but that's okay, because I have 400 watts of power. 
Um, we can see currently I'm only using 46 watts. So I'm not sure what's not on. So I've seen that go up to like 70. So that fluctuates a bit. Um, memory usage, yep, etc. We have some uplink, downlinks, clients and guests on there. Let's have a look at the insights. That is the usage as you'd expect. Memory utilization, CPU load. Is that all we get for insights? Nothing else. Hmm, okay. And then for settings, we can give it a name. So I think I'm gonna call this um, ether lighting. Oh, here's a, here's a new menu, ether lighting. Let's see what that does. Okay, so yeah, oh, I could have looked here. So we have colors for the speeds. So FE is yellow, yeah. gigabit is white, two and a half gigabit is blue, I don't have any of those, and 10 gigabit is white, which would be over there. I don't have any of those yet. Um, let's see if we can change it. I think FE should be, what do you reckon? Maybe a green? All right, we click done. Does it change? Oh, we gotta save it. And then, please. It's not changing. There we go, oh, resets. Oh, look at them and now they're green. Isn't it pretty? White and green, I like that. I'm gonna keep it that. But yeah, you can change the ether lighting. I just remembered that I do have two 2.5 gigabyte devices. Uh, so I've now plugged them into these ports here, uh, 17 and 18, which are the PoE++ 2.5 gigabyte ports. Um, so I've got my U7 Wall Pro and my U7 um, Pro Max in here. So they're now shining blue. Isn't that lovely? That's nice. Anyway, so back to the app. Um, you can now also see it in the app here that if you scroll across, you can see that those ports are now blue because they're two and a half gigabyte uh, connections. Gigabit connections, big difference. Um, so let's go back to the ether lighting, okay? There's a couple of really uh, extra uh, cool things. Well, ex a couple of extra things that are cool, I should say. Um, so if we go into ether lighting, we looked at the speed colors here, we can change those, that's fine. Now, the network, that is where your VLANs are. So your uh, VLANs can also have colors. And if I save it now, like this, it'll then show the VLANs instead. So you can see here that all these are now show, uh, shining blue because they're all on the default VLAN on this particular switch. However, if I go in to the ports, and I, for example, change the front door camera to be on the, let's say the kids. We save that and we change the front garden camera to be on the IoT. We save that. Then you can now see that these will change color in just a second. There we go. That now is pink for the kids VLAN. And this, come on. It takes a few seconds. It does say that in the app. It takes a few seconds just to change it over is, come on, there we go, is now green on the IoT. So you can now change the color of the VLANs, which makes it really easy to identify which port is on which VLAN, which is very helpful. Now I, on this particular one, just have them all on default for the minute, um, but I do have another switch, which is my in, uh, in industrial switch, uh, which is linked there if you wanna see what that is. That actually uses some of the kids VLAN ports as well. Um, but that doesn't have the colors, obviously, the ether lighting. Anyway, you get what I mean. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can get the, the VLAN colors on there as well. And then there's one more feature. If I go into the ports, and this is less useful if I have one switch. If I had 20 of these, it would be super useful. So for example, if I wanted to know where number six port is, if I had a whole server rack of these, I can go to the overview, I can click on number six or tap, and then I can go locate and then only that will flash. See, it's flashing. That is also very, very useful. And you can actually identify where ports are. It's a bit like the AR feature. Do you remember the AR? I did a video on that, which is linked there as well, um, where you could uh, scan your phone over them and see what was connected to them. There's just another level of locating where ports are. So um, I'll just go stop locating, and then it goes back to now my VLANs configuration. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, easy lighting can be useful and it looks amazing.
So that's the Unify Pro Max 24 PoE Ether Lighting Switch. Yeah, what do you think? Is this something you would use? Do you like it? Does it look cool? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you really like this content and you like to support the channel, you can subscribe by clicking the button just down below. It will help me out a lot. So yeah, I'm keen to know your thoughts and opinions on this switch. I like the, well, what I'm gonna love the most long-term is the 400 watts of power and the two and a half gigabit PoE++ ports. But I really love the ether lighting. <laughs> I think it looks amazing. Now, it is in a cupboard, which is in a cupboard. Am I gonna look at it every day? Probably not, but I like to know that it exists. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.